Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, it is time to pray again. And the thought that came to mind today was God can do anything. You know, we serve a magnificent God. We serve a God that spoke and it was. We serve a God that sits on a throne huh? that is surrounded by legions of angels huh? that beckon his command. Huh? We serve a God that declares huh? all power and authority has been given unto him. We serve a God that has created all things so they are all subject to him. So I bless him today for all that he has done. I bless him because he's good. I bless him because he's kind. I bless him because he's faithful. I bless him because he has loved me and he loves you too. So know today that the Lord declares if we ask anything in the name of Jesus, he would do it. He said if two of us agree, he would do it. He said if his word abides in us and we abide in his word, we can ask our Lord for whatever we will. So again, Again, know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, keep hoping, keep trusting, keep believing. And most of all, keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Father, I praise you, I thank you, I bless you, I honor you. God, I give you the glory and the honor and the praise, Father. For truly, Father, thine alone are worthy to be praised. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of my Lord and Savior, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. I give you praise. I bless you, Father, for all that you have done. Thank you for your blessings, God. Thank you for your love today. Thank you, God, for your mercy today, Father God. Thank you for your grace, God, your favor that surrounds your children, God. Thank you for never leaving us, my Lord, or forsaking us, God. Thank you for keeping us in the palm of your hands, Father God, and not allowing anything to pluck us out. Thank you for giving us the faith to believe that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world and if God be for us he's more than the world against us so I give you praise today father and in honor of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today my Lord I pray your prayer over your people father in the gospel of Matthew the sixth chapter and the ninth verse where Jesus said in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven Thank you, Lord, first of all, for being our Father. Thank you, Father, for adopting us, Father, and calling us your own, making us children of the Most High God. So I praise you for being our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Father, your name is holy, God. You're different from any man-made God. Hallelujah. And again, thank you, Father, for dedicating yourself, Father, to us. Thank you for being our Abba Father today, Lord. Your kingdom come, Father. And Father, I realize even as I pray this prayer that there will be no real peace on this earth, God, huh, until your kingdom is established here on this earth. So Father, your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Father, we live in a day where people are looking for a reason to rebel. So your kingdom come. Your kingdom come, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Your will be done. Not the enemy's will in this world, but your will be done. Your will be done in the life of your people. Your will be done in the White House. Your will be done in America, God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Father, you are our Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Father, for providing for us today, Father, and every day. Forgive us, Lord, of our debts. Father, you said if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways and pray, God, you said that you would heal the land. So forgive us of our debts, Father, as we forgive our debtors. 
And do not lead us into temptation, Father. Those testings, those trials, Father. Oh, Father God. But deliver us from the evil one. That one that is roaring like a lion who seeks to devour. That one that came to steal, kill, and destroy. That one that is wreaking havoc, God, on the earth right now. Father, deliver us from the evil one. For yours truly, Father, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, forever. Amen. want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.